Hello Capricorns, welcome to another edition of Cab Corner. <laughs> I am Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. And I just finished Cap Weekly's. Cap Cap Weekly was pretty interesting this week, so I'm interested to see if that energy is going to carry over and carry through into Cap Corner or if it's going to be something totally different. Unless some of you have been putting a lot of work into a relationship or into a connection that you're just not sure is going to investing into someone big or you are big, putting your investment into something else, kind of taking a little bit of a risk. We'll see. We sh Whoa, we shall see. Oh, and again, look. Dang, Capricorn. We shall see. Okay. Okay. Remember that there's no such thing as time. There's only energy and attention and priorities, my loves. If this resonates with you, take it, keep it, it's yours. To use however you wish in your own life. If it's not resonating, let it go. Let it go, and some other cappy sun, moon, or rising will use it. Will use it. Use, use the wisdom. Use the pain to manifest everything you want. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, okay, cappy, you're done. You're done cooking. You just want, you just want to get it out. Let's see what we've got. Something turn? Guess not. Cappy just wants to get it out. All right, I hear you. I hear you. What do you want to say? Talk to me. Oh. Oh. Who are you fighting with? Who are you fighting with, Capricorn? What's the struggle? Oh, are you fighting for the pentacle? Okay, fighting for the pentacle. What else are you fighting for? Oh, you're leaving something behind. You're leaving it behind. I feel like this is context. I feel like you were fighting for money. You were fighting for an opportunity. You were fighting perhaps even in a competition, Capricorn, but you're leaving that now. You walked away. You walked away from that. Tell me the story. What? Tell me more of the story. <laughs> That's too many cards. I'm not. I'm just not. <sighs> it was hard for you to walk away. Look at this. Five of staves. Then we have the pentacle. Then we have the eight of cups. And then we have the four. Sorry, then we have the two. There was conflict over this pentacle, over this opportunity. And you walked away to save the relationship. You left to save you walked towards what was best for the union, for the partnership. Damn. You love this person, Capricorn. That's the context. That's my role. That's like the past. Wow. You must really love this person to, <laughs> for the Capricorn to walk away from a pentacle. My God, right? Noble. Very noble Capricorn. There was fighting over this pentacle. They want me to say this. There was fighting. There was competition. There was strife. There was malfeasance. I forgot what the meaning of that word is, but they just gave it to me. I don't know if it actually applies or not. But there, there were people, you, five at least. There's everyone greedy. I get a lot of, like all, all these hands going into the jar. 
Like if this were not a jar of <laughs> coffee for a jar of coins, and honestly, only my hand can comfortably fit into this, but it, it, imagine five hands going towards this at the same time to get the coins is what they're showing me. You're right, I would just slice them and dice them with my Nosferatu nails. But all these, and you were part of this Capricorn. Capricorn was part of this and your person, your lover was part of this as well. They, you were all part of this and you were all playing this game. You were all playing the competition, the hamster wheel. And it was even like petty. This is not swords, it's just sticks. So it's not like anyone was out for real blood, but kind of because it's money on the table, the big money on the table too, a really big opportunity. And Capricorn, what you did instead of playing this game of manipulation, because I feel like they did want to manipulate and lie and deceive and fake, a lot of fakery with this, a lot of posturing. And Capricorn, I can see very clearly that you were not about to do that. You were not about to stay in those conditions for the pentacle. You're above the pentacle. You're a high vibrating Capricorn, which means that you have integrity and you want the real win. You know, you have high standards. So the Capricorn I'm connecting to, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you left the pentacle. You said, you guys want to fight over that fucking pentacle? I'm out. Bye. Peace. Mic drop. Like you, all of your exit... <laughs> Whatever you do when you exit a room, guys, you, you you did it. Whatever people are doing now, you did it. And you walked away. You left the situation to save a relationship, to save to save goodwill is what it feels like. Not it could be a primary relationship that you walked away to save or it could just be the goodwill that you wanted to hold on to that you wanted to save between you and either this another person in this greedy grab for all or in this just generally in the situation like either the goodwill towards you like okay Capricorn exited stage left didn't want to get their hands dirty didn't want it to get real messy and didn't want to stay for the carnage so now we know that Capricorn's not going to devolve into this you know so in the industry now or in the environment in the company in the in the milieu we know that Capricorn will walk away from bottom feeder type behavior this really feels like bottom feeder behavior to me but that's me okay now what let's do our next row that was the backstory that's really what it feels like the context was and this is the situation if this is resonating for you this is the situation that this reading will be about so that was last, that was the past. How is this, what does the situation stand now? What's the situation? I'm only taking the one that flipped up. So if you can see the one that flipped up, it's the temperance. Now there is balance between all those greedy people. now in the present right now there really is balance now there's peace now there's healing there's actually healing from the strife people aren't fighting anymore you walked away a long time ago capricorn so when you walked away the fighting continued without you and that's really important to know that capricorn dipped you dipped at the right time too you 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 went in your own, your own vibration and in in, that felt so good. You went in your own vibration, Capricorn. You said, this is not for me. You left and now, now no one else is fighting this conflict. They're fighting over this opportunity, over this pentacle, that, that, that's all been balanced out. Like people shuffled around, found a different place, found a different position, found a different, you know. And this opportunity 
I was just about to start on the opportunity. This opportunity has completely transformed. What this looked like when you entered the picture is in unrecognizable now after you've left the picture and now that this has been healed. Completely unrecognizable. It's a totally different opportunity now. And what I feel like Capricorn is that it's a Capricorn shaped opportunity now. I feel like this, this, this fighting never led to one person winning this opportunity. If it did, I bet it didn't work out. That's actually more likely. I feel like you left the competition Capricorn and then someone else did get this successfully. They clawed their way to the top, got this opportunity and you know what? They probably fucked it up. Not through any fault of their own. I'm just saying that these are low bottom feeders though. Like they're not masters. They're not master craftsmen. They're not proficient minds they're not you know they're just people fighting over what they want so if this person has the skill a better you know maybe they can do that maybe they can elbow their way to get what they want but capricorn can do the job better than anybody else so maybe capricorn doesn't play this game of sticks and that's your strength, Capricorn, is that you walked away. Cross watchers, better take a seat because I'm about to get, okay? Capricorn doesn't play those petty games, the high evolved Capricorns, right? They're not going to get their opportunity that way. Capricorn plays the long game. They play longevity, the origin story. How, when this all goes down, how is it going to go down that... Capricorn began. That how is it going to sound that Capricorn got this opportunity in such an underhanded way? Capricorn doesn't like that either. Capricorn cares about prestige, legacy, image, social standing. Okay, so it it doesn't look becoming of a Capricorn to stoop that low to the bottom feeders. Capricorn can afford to pull back. Capricorn can afford to step back and pull away for these people. For, and that's the thing is that Capricorn knows that if they didn't pick Capricorn, it's their loss. Capricorn knows that. Capricorn's way of getting things is going to be colored by the different elements in your chart, for sure. Your Mars, your Mercury, your Venus, your, your North Node, all these different things contribute to how you get what you want as an individual. The Capricorn mystique, the Capricorn MO, is to be the best. That's it. That's our only strategy, is to be the best. Being the best, doesn't come with how to elbow and claw your way through bottom feeders to get to the top, to get your opportunity. That's not part of how Capricorn gets what Capricorn wants. The only way we know how to get what we want is to be the best. That's it. That's it. So the best work, the best, whatever this has to do with, Capricorn's the best. Temperance is not only healing, it's not only the fixed angel, it's not only that balance of energies, it's not only even manifestation through the purity of imagination. Temperance is also chemistry. Temperance is also something brewing for a long time brewing 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 until it bubbles and froths over the lid that's capricorn that's what capricorn does so that when capricorn walks away from the struggle and the competition and the conflict when capricorn walks away capricorn's getting even better 
they're already better than everyone here. They just don't know how to scream the loudest. We don't just go and behave in such an uncouth manner and devolve our personalities to this bottom feeder type behavior. We just don't, okay? So they kept fighting while Capricorn got better, even better than the best. This opportunity, whether it went to someone else and they're not the best, they could just scream the loudest and they couldn't do it, or it just wasn't good enough, whatever the case is, that transformed that opportunity completely, where this opportunity is completely unrecognizable from whatever it was when it started. Maybe it's a position in a company, maybe it's a new job, a new position that is really up to whoever is in that position to, to make their own. It could be something like that. It's completely different now. We're gonna pull another, we're gonna keep moving now. They just wanted me to tell you that. <sighs> do I keep it reversed or do I put it upright? I'll let you decide. Walking away, it's a big step for you, Capricorn. I'm gonna keep it upright. It was just a little fancy how it did it because this transformation, everything transforms, okay? Capricorn, the opportunity, and the other people. Everyone is completely different now. Everything is completely different. Not just this opportunity, everything about the opportunity. The people involved, the opportunity itself, Capricorn, the other hiring manager, you know, whatever. Everything is different. Everything is completely transformed. Nothing will ever be the same again. Angel of Death has is now, you know, because this is now, this is right now, things are being transformed in the dark as well. Things are being transformed behind the scenes. Now, now look at the opportunity. It still looks good to me. It's an ace. The aces are the purest form of the energy. It's unobstructed energy, no obstruction. Unless of course it comes out like this, then there are obstructions and there, there is something to fight through to get to this. But now look at the flavor of this opportunity. Look what's different about it. Before the opportunity was for a select few. It was VIP, it was exclusive exclusively offered to only a certain type of person or only a certain group of people. And the most characteristic thing about this opportunity was the money. That's what everyone had their eye on, the money, 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 money. Now, this opportunity has undergone a huge transformation. And now Capricorn, the distinctive things about this opportunity are, number one, there's no gate. There's no private hedges. It's not just being offered to a certain type of person or a certain group of people or just the cool kids club. It's no longer VIP. Because those fuckheads didn't know their heads from their asses. Sorry to say it that way, but it's the truth. Now this opportunity has a different face. The face of this opportunity now is the creativity, how creative it can be, how creative can it get? Who's, who's lifting, lifting, lifting the standard for this opportunity? It's the fucking Capricorn. I can swear in Cap Corner. It's the Capricorn that has raised the level of this entire thing up 10 notches by walking away, by having the strength to walk away. Now Capricorn has elevated this opportunity and everyone associated with it. 
if Capricorn can do this much by walking away, just imagine how much Capricorn can do when you leave them in charge of something. Of what we can create by giving our attention to something. And what we can change by removing our attention from something. Okay? This is why I do Cap Corner, guys. To help give you some... Because I don't want you to feel like, oh, did I, well, I walked away. What do you know? Because now you're in the dark. Walking, He's walking into the dark. You walk away. You say, okay, goodbye. This is not my thing. You really walk away. You walk away not expecting them to come back. Not expecting anything to, to change. You walk away like a hard walk away. You got to mean it. And so you walked away. You didn't know. You walked away to save this goodwill. You're thinking long term. You don't want to look stupid fighting over a pentacle. Well, behind the scenes, all this is taking place. You're about to hear amazing news. You're about to hear news that's going to release a lot of burden for you. I feel like walking away was painful. Walking away from a beautiful pentacled opportunity. Walking away from the lower part of yourself, Capricorn, that wanted to engage in conflict, that wanted to be competitive, that wanted to be a dirty player and just... You, had to, you overcame your own impulses to be petty, to be low vibrational, to be lowly. Okay? You did. And you did it for a good reason. You did it to save a relationship that they all were too busy fighting about and they just couldn't see how to work together or how to be different. And you did, and you wanted to save this. So instead of, it's like you wanted a job that wanted all of the competitors to compete really nastily with each other, or that's just the norm. And Capricorn says, well, I just want the job. I don't want to play dirty with these other people. I don't want to compete with the other people. I want to show you my work, and if you like it, take me. And if you don't like it, let me go. But I'm not going to play a game with either you that's hiring me or these other people that I'm competing with. Capricorn only competes with themselves. So anyone trying to manipulate a Capricorn into competing with other people will be very, very disappointed. Because Capricorn won't. Capricorn will walk away from the situation knowing that they're the best and knowing that they're losing Capricorn. Capricorn can take their ball and go play anywhere else. You cannot disenfranchise a Capricorn unless they let you. Well, aren't I just a hot little tamale today, guys? You're going to hear great news about this is all going to come full circle. You're going to hear great news because you've bared the burden of, well, just because you're the best doesn't mean that everything's perfect, okay? You've taken so long to do your own healing. You've taken so long to brew your talents and build up your chemistry and build up your own powers of creation and manifestation and whatever this is that you're really good at, whatever this is that you're the master at, that you're the best at. It's taken your whole life to get here, to get to this, this level. Vibrationally, everything. It's taken you a long time to purify your thoughts. I feel like Capricorns are kind of born depressed. I don't, I've never spoken to a Capricorn who didn't have a very sad childhood. So it's taken you from zero to now, Capricorn, to be this far along in purifying your thoughts so that you talk kindly to yourself that you think optimistically or at least realistically you can be idealistic and realistic you can be a little optimistic and realistic 
you can treat yourself well, not feel guilty for not being a workaholic. Give yourself, be kind to your, you know, your own inner balance of the care and keeping of the Capricorn. Undergoing this huge transformation has been incredibly painful. It's taken a lot of patience, strength, and faith as I'm actually getting faith with this black flag with that white Lutheran rose. It really does feel like faith in your own immortality, Capricorn, and knowing that you're the best. Um, this is what it is now. It ha And the opportunity itself had to go through a little transformation. So now it's like your vibration. Now it's matching you. Whereas before it matched, it didn't match you perfectly. There was still something off about it. So now it's perfect for you, Capricorn, because you affected it by walking away. You're going to get news. It's, it could be a lot. A fire hose of communication bursting through for you, Capricorn. And it will alleviate the burdens of not knowing what's going on. Not knowing what happened. Not knowing anything. Not being, I mean, you really walked into the dark to let your absence speak louder than your, than what these boneheads are screaming at the top of their lungs about. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna do what we can expect in the future. What can Capricorn expect regarding this opportunity? What can Capricorn expect next regarding this opportunity? A page of wands and a four of pentacles. That's interesting, you guys. This is interesting. Sorry, I'm so sorry. There's squirrels. It is interesting, though. You're going to get... See, this is piggybacking off of... This is like the tail end. The tail end of this row of energies. This is the beginning of like the future energies. Okay? And we're going to take this all into the extended. The cap corner extended. We're going to clarify everything. Get into the nitty gritty... We're going to get super page of swords about it, so don't you worry. If this is resonating for you, then I'll see you over there. This is a very tightly controlled communication that gets through to you. This page of wands, it's very much like, pay attention to me right now. Pay attention to me right, right now. Very childish. Like, I see just pulling at mom's skirt when she's at a gala, like, I can't talk to you right now, Bobby. You know, but he, Bobby's like, ah, you know, I want mommy now, you know, but with this four of pentacles, it's very much like, it is sort of controlled. It is sort of like restrained. It's passionate. It's restrained passion, but you get the, you get the good word. You get the good word. What's the next message for Capricorn regarding this situation? Regarding this opportunity? What can we expect next for the Capricorn that I'm connecting to? Sun, moon, or rising, please. What is the next thing that we can expect? Again? No, it's like that same weird glob. I can't, no. I'm gonna. No. And I'm gonna put them in like this. Oh, okay. No. They make you an offer. It's a very serious offer, too. Very serious offer, Capricorn. This has, it proves the energies leading up to this card that it's taken a long time to brew and be ready. It's, it's needed time. It's needed 
your energy being pulled back to affect it because they had your energy. You were in the mix. You were in the mix. You were part of the fighting. You were there. And then you didn't act according to the plan and you withdrew your energy. And that had to kick off a chain reaction. And this represents that. This is further showing us that it's a stable offer because it went through everything it went through. Whereas in the beginning, this wasn't quite stable. And look at if, if someone else got this opportunity, look at how stable it is now. It's not. It's going to go to you. They're going to offer it to you now. Okay, we're at our limit, Capricorn. If this is resonating with you, I will... If this is resonating with you, I will see you on the other side in the extended. And if not, then I hope you've enjoyed the Scooby Snacks. I will see you tomorrow for the daily. Take care, Capricorn. Bye. But it's going to hide a knight, which is going to hide the hierophant. Do you see this? So you think you're dealing with a page, but you're actually going to start to see... You think you're dealing with a page... But actually, you're dealing with a knight, and you think you're dealing with a knight, but you're actually dealing with an M with a <laughs> with a hierophant. How cool was that? So the opportunity itself had to transform into something tangible, to go from an idea, to go from a great thought, to go from potential itself. It had to transform into something solid, into something real, concrete, hard, tangible, real. Okay. But it followed you. The opportunity changed and transformed to follow you because the opportunity is your vibration, Capricorn. The Capricorn, you actually did it to, to increase trust. You left them to increase trust, to show others that you won't play dirty, that you won't that you can't be counted on to behave that way. This is not you. You did it because it was the right thing to do for this relationship. What other characteristics can you give us? What other information do you want us to know about this transformed opportunity? This, this new thing, it's a brand new thing now. It's totally different almost unrecognizable it's creative driven now whereas before it was pentacle driven people wanted it for the pentacles now they see it for all the creativity that you put into it that you can bring to it whether it's new sales techniques new marketing methods new technology this is your creative competitive advantage Capricorn you're showing up incredibly attractive you're showing up very creative let's follow the line of energies you walked away a lot of wand energy here too you walked away you held your horses back you held your horses back the energy has changed with this opportunity oh now we realize that we have to have Capricorn there's the opportunity and there's your competitive advantage that you're the most creative. 